so she kind of oh. let me go <laughs> nice in that case let's go read the line from the book hi um yoyaku odori odori ba ni koite uh good get kite kite uh sono saki o nozoite mita so yoyaku uh i'm not sure what yoyaku mean yoyaku was that finally uh, in the end basically at some point finally hi oh. finally i came to the odoriba I don't know what it called in English. I know I don't know what this is either. The halfway point. The platform. The halfway point between. Yeah, the platform, but it's specific to the stair. It's isn't specific it? to the stair. Stair platform. Um, <laughs> the stair Bodyball. platform. Hi, <laughs> right. and then sono saki o at that and ahead of it. Hi. Uh, um, nozoite mita. I I gaze and saw. Well, that's a good guess. It actually means to Up try. Ahead. I tried to look to the saki. I, I see his mitai, hi, hi. Um, I attempted this... to look ahead. And a kneecap. Ah! <laughs> I... Gotta wear a helmet going up um, those staircases with the dory bars. It is. You know how it's red? <laughs> it's okay. um float. So, so how do you read it though? <laughs> I remember watching this another random thing. Yeah. From Escaflone, there was this floating castle. The mm -hmm. castle was a floating castle, so they keep using this. Oh. Ugabu. Ugabu, Ugabu. 20,000 times. <laughs> Makes sense. Ugabu. Ugabu. Hi. The floating castle. Hi. Right, so this word has Fly. ukabu in it. Could you read it for me? Ukabi agaru. Hi. Right. So ukabi agaru to doesn't does it totally mean the float up? Like it does, but it tends not to be used how you would assume it would be. It's more like to rise to the surface. Um, for example, if something's underwater or if something's like in the darkness and you can like faintly see something that gets a little bit clearer, that'd be ukabi agaru. So that is like it's floating out of something almost more of an out meaning with agaru than really floating upwards. So you wouldn't normally use this with something flat floating up into the sky. Weirdly enough. I see. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, can you I... read the sentence? This is a previous sentence, not the sentence in the book. Hi, sono mama. Tsuki no ya. Soki no heya e iri. Sarani oku no doa e to mukao. I would guess this is Heidi so, in this context. Heidi, to go in. Hai. So I enter towards the room Which that room? was Sugi. That was the next. Hi, hi. Next, um, next to the Sono Mama. So, oh. um, Sono Mama. Uh, Next to is hard to translate in the specific context. We don't have the mama anymore. Mama is uh continuing the previous state. So the previous state was actually him um crossing rooms, I think. He was walking, so continuing to walk, he enters the next room and does what? The next room. And he sarani. Sarani Sara. Sarani is on the side, right? Good guess. That's like something else, like Yoko. Sarani means um furthermore or on top of that. So on um, top of that. So in this case, he goes. Uh, he, hey, this is he faces toward another door in the dark. So Sarani is kind of like another door. <laughs> he uh he he faces another door on the inside. Yep. On the depth. Yeah. So so yeah. What's the best? Uh, example sentence. Do you know what usura means? Usura. Does it happen to mean lightly? 
Or yeah, slightly right more thinly. It does. <laughs> How dare you wear your glasses in this class? <laughs> I, I got my cheat sheets, dude. <laughs> Just in case. Uh, in this case, you can also Usura. use it as a sound effect, I guess. Usurato being slightly. It sounds right. Like, yes. Don't worry. Uh, by next class, I'll forget what it means. Oh no! <laughs> we'll sit up. Hi. So now we are reading a line from the book. So it's okuni. The only time where I tend to remember is when there's kanji. Oh, so. Weirdly enough, isn't that weird? Huh. Um, okuni, uh, sa saki ga mie. Let's look at so that no kanji. Ni... Let's pause. Let's look at that kanji. Oops. Taki looks like this. Oh, hmm. it's it's hikari. So so. Oh, it's messed me up. So, those those two legs down at the bottom. Um, it's it's okuni hikari ga mie. So no te mae ni usurato tsugi no odori ba ga u. Gabi Agaru. Hi. I totally forgot what the float thing is. Hmm. Gabi? Might be able to tell by context. So first off, we can where we got oko ni hikari ga mie. What does that mean? It mean that on the in the depths. Hi hi. In the depths. A light. I can see. Yes, yes. See the light at, in, in the depth, in the Hi. depth, and so no te mae ni um usurato slightly. It's it's slightly um like in front of me. Te I mae guess, is in, I it's, would it's say in arm sono, reach kind of a way. With with sono sono te mae, the sono means in front of that. So in front of the light that. Is in the depths there is a odoriba. Odoriba, because sugi no odoriba ga. There is sugi here just mean next. There's an odoriba yes. that is next. Right. Um, and it's nuga ugabi agaru, meaning it's float towards me or it emerges, guess. emerge. It is emerging out of what do you think? Out of the depth of the darkness, so, out of so, the, so. the inner. Yep. So literally, it says he can faintly see um a odoriba that is very like dim. The next one because it is right in front of a light that's down in the depths of the staircases. So there's a light. It's almost very faintly lighting up the next odoriba. So kabigaru is the rise up to the surface, I... but in this context, it was just basically you could barely see it. And here is another line from the book. And it shinobi, shinobi ashi de sarani orite ita. This ita is the past form of iku to Hi. go. Yep. So orite ita meaning I went down away. I I went down. I go I gone down. Um, shinobi, shinobi, ashide with my um quiet feet, yes. right? Shinobi to be quiet. Sara ni on top of that. Sara not the plate. It's on top yep. of that. <laughs> on top of that. And it's ori de. So I on top of that I go down using my quiet legs. Yep. Or I lightly, I basically he I sinks go down, down very quietly. Basically. Yep. He sinks down. Yep. He he she no be ashi. He sinks down. Um. So this right here, can you read it for me? Hey. You can use that for your save it. Don't don't <laughs> save dry. it. So you have Got many pictures. Tadori. <laughs> <laughs> Tadori is to dance. So Tadori suku. You think about is odori. To dance on. Good guess. Odori is to dance. Oh, I'm sorry. Tadori suku is to arrive somewhere. Tadori suku. Suku and tadori. Oh, kind of arrive. Kind of insinuates you are aiming for this location. 
For example, can you read this line? Hi. You got it. Yashiki e tadori tsuita. I've arrived at you accidentally the read Twilight this. Mansions. Perfect. You accidentally read this as you got it? But there's not a gone here. You got it. Perfect. And can you read this word? Hikikomeru. Hi. To pull in. Komeru. That is what you would assume it would mean. Apparently, instead, it, this is why I have notes. <laughs> um, instead, with hikikomu, so hikikomu, I think, is sounds like hikimori, uh, is to retract into something. So, like, to go backwards, kind of, like, the withdrawal. Hikikomu. So, the pull oh, inward. Oh, to go in but, the back. But in a, the pull back right, So, it's, way. it's mean, it, it's in an ushira direction, right? So, it's in the ura way. It's not an omote. It's not towards the front. It's towards the it towards the back. Yeah, yeah. I think hikikomu. Hikikomu, yeah? hikikomeru. Uh, yes. So this right here is a duver. And let's see. Do you know what shagandeme? Shagande. No, forgot. I always forget it. Let's go read the full sentence then. I um the turn at the bent. It, 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 it's a hagari? No. Uh magari. I forgot. Magari. Magari kado ni kita no de. Shigande kado no muko o no zoite mita. So um I I, I no de no de I I I came to the corner of the bend. However, because of that, no de no de is the opposite. Because, oh, because of, of, that, of that, I shagande when I nozo de mitad. I bet I I I uh, crouch. Yeah, I shagan I shagande I crouch, and I nozo de mitad. I I gaze across. I attempt to look. Yep, perfect. Across the corner. I attempted the to other side of the corner. the corner. Perfect. So because I came oh, to a oh. bend, I crouched and tried to appear on the other side of the corner. So in other words, the other side of the bend. Perfect. So he komedu was to retract in words, um, or to, to drag in words. Um, do you know what the te form is? Hi. He commit just he commit that. Yeah, just he commit that. No glottal stop. Commit that. Okay, so here's our last line he of the day. Um so no mod odori ba made tadori tsuki shagande muko no zoiki komi. Sugu ni kao o hikometa. So at that at that um odori ba odori ba. So at at that platform at the stair platform, adori tsuki I arrive. And shigande muko o nozo kimi komi. I look into, I gaze into the direction uh, uh, after I, I, so I crouch down and I gaze towards the opposite directions. Suguni, uh, immediately afterward, like right away, kao o hikikometa. My face was pulled in. Exactly. In this case, he's pulling, my face. In this case, he pulls his face back. He retreats backwards. So he leans, tries looking ahead of him, basically, on the other side of the stair platform. Then he goes back. He's like, oh, I'm not supposed to be there. Because remember how those stair platforms are very like, boop, doop. He, he, he like saw someone about to kick him in the face with their knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
So you got flying you need. That. It wasn't a regular need. It was a flying a flying need. <laughs> ah, a flying need. Yep. So <laughs> that is where.